This is test ID 35, component ID 00 and 80. This is catalyst efficiency test. Now the 00 indicates we have a maximum limit. This test applies to the left downstream O2 sensor when two O2 sensors are used for catalyst efficiency testing. The 80 means we have a minimum limit as well as a maximum. Now the catalyst efficiency test is done by using activity counts doing specialized fuel control operations that goes slightly greener and richer than normal. Now, pay attention. We've got to look at both fuel control and after catalyst signals. We don't have a way to do this other than with a lab scope. The PCM monitors oxygen sensor voltage for fuel control and the catalyst. The PCM counts the voltage transitions from lean to rich and calculates a switch ratio by dividing the after cat switches by the front cat switches. Now, typical data, this is going to exceed when it exceeds a maximum limit. We also have a minimum limit on some vehicles. This is the maximum limit. In this particular case, it's looking at the number of the ratio. The minimum limit is going to look at the minimum number of transitions. It's a dual sensor. Now, this monitor only runs if the PCM detects low O2 sensor counts. It's going to fail at the maximum limit. That's on the ratio. If it doesn't switch frequently enough, it's going to fail the minimum limit, indicating it has too few transitions. Here's what it looks like signal-wise. We have the red trace as the after catalyst O2. You see it has a very small movement. The pre-cat or fuel control O2 is in green. You see it's a great deal more movement. What we need to do now to verify what we have here, because you can get a little confusion between max and min, is to go look at lab scope patterns to verify exactly what's going on in mode 6. A snap accelerate test will be done to do a response test. Now we're going to stop this so we can have a look at it here. Now look at this signal. The red dotted line is highlighting the eptocatalyst response. This is very good response, but two key factors are necessary. The sensor must be hot and fuel control must respond quickly. Don't expect the cool sensor to respond and don't expect the sensor to respond if the, catalyst, if the fuel control isn't working properly. The after catalyst can only be as good as fuel control. Now here is a slow sensor. Notice the difference. The start and finish are far apart. That tells us we have a very slow sensor, but we have good fuel control. It changed quickly. Mode 6 will help locate those problems and this type of problem. Use Mode 6 to identify the problem and don't try to do it all on yourself. Remember, Mode 6 will take you here. Then you use the lab scope to verify what you found. You don't have to be a genius lab scope operator when you have Mode 6 helping you.